Imagine being homeless as a child, leading your state in rushing yards, but not having a single FBS college football offer at one point. Josh Jacobs was never a hot commodity, and it appeared that he and his family would be stuck in poverty indefinitely. But one decision altered Johnson's life, rewrote his destiny from being a zero-star recruit to becoming an awesome NFL player. So how did Josh go from sleeping in a van with no college offers following his senior year to becoming a superstar with the Open Raiders? Stay tuned for an inspiring story of perseverance, grit, resilience, and an ultimate triumph over adversity. Today we'll focus on the life of Josh Jacobs, an American football running back currently with the National Football League's Las Vegas Raiders, formerly known as the Oakland Raiders. The RB was selected 24th overall in the first round of the NFL Draft. The Raiders running back attended the University of Alabama, where he established himself as one of the country's finest backs. Jacob's most important and well-known college game was against the Georgia Bulldogs in the SEC Championship game. Despite suffering from the sickness, the running back rushed for 83 yards and two scores on eight carries. Josh Jacobs was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, USA. He grew up in a lowly background and homeless early on in his life. But that's not the most heartbreaking part of his story. In Jacob's fourth school year, his parents Marty and Lachelle separated. Following the divorce, he relocated with his father. While his father was getting ready for his apartment, Jacob slept on the couch of his relatives. At some point, Jacob's father slept with his revolver always tucked under his arm to keep him safe in their suburban. Jacob's has been driven by his father's legacy. Even though the family struggled greatly and subsisted mostly on ramen and white rice, it took Marty Jacobs two years of living from motel to motel to finally land a permanent job. Josh Jacobs' story started taking much better shape when he became a phenomenon during his high school years. The running back scored 56 touchdowns and gained 5,372 yards while attending McLean High School in Tulsa. Even the local newspaper thought the coach was making it up because the stats were so incredible and out of this world. Jacobs had no offers following his graduation from high school. However, things had to alter. G. Smith, the man from Texas, was struck by Jacobs' talent and paid attention. He assisted Jacobs in setting up Twitter so he could share his best high school moments. And that was the beginning of a new chapter in his story. A barrage of calls and offers from several colleges began to arrive. Purdue, New Mexico State, Wyoming, Oklahoma, and Missouri all made offers to Jacobs. A commitment to Wyoming was imminent for the RB, but Alabama intervened. Since it had always been his dream college, the wide receiver knew he had to accept the offer. Josh's rise to stardom did not happen with his hands in his pocket. He walked the walk and worked the work. His first year at Alabama was spent with two great guys, Damian Harris and Bo Scarborough. Harris currently plays for the Buffalo Bills in the NFL while Scarborough plays for the Birmingham Stallions in the USFL. Jacobs played 14 games in his rookie season and rushed for 567 yards on 85 carries while scoring four touchdowns. Jacobs spent most of his sophomore season playing with a broken ankle. He carried for 284 yards on 46 carries and scored a touchdown. 2018 was his most memorable season. The Globe took notice of the running back's on-field exploits. The SEC Championship game versus the Georgia Bulldogs was Jacobs' Jordan Flu game. The former Crimson Tide put on a show, rushing for 83 yards and two touchdowns despite being unwell and receiving IVs before, during, and following the game. He got the MVP award. Jacobs declared for the 2019 NFL Draft following a successful junior year. He had 120 carries, rushing for 640 yards and 11 touchdowns. The RB also had 20 catches, 247 receiving yards, and three touchdowns. The Oakland Raiders took Jacobs in the first round of the 2019 NFL Draft with a 24th overall pick which they received from the Chicago Bears in the Khalil Mack trade in September 2018. On July 9, 2019, he signed his rookie contract with the team for four years, and so he began. Jacobs made his NFL debut on Monday Night Football, taking against the Denver Broncos. In the 24-16 win, Jacobs carried 23 times for 85 yards and two touchdowns, while also catching one pass for 28 yards. In the Raiders' next game against the Kansas City Chiefs, he carried 12 times for 99 yards as they lost 28 to 10. Three weeks later in London's Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Jacobs ran 26 times for 123 yards and two touchdowns. 
and caught three catches for 20 yards as the London team defeated the Chicago Bears 24-21. He scored the first touchdown in the new stadium with one of them. In the 42-24 road defeat to the Green Bay Packers in Week 7, he carried the ball 21 times for 124 yards. Two weeks later, in a 31-24 victory over the Detroit Lions, Jacobs ran 28 times for 120 yards and two scores. Following the team's eighth game of the year, Marcus Allen's previous record of 697 running yards in nine games was surpassed by Jacobs, who set the Raiders' rookie record for 740. In the following Thursday night football game against the Los Angeles Chargers, Jacobs carried for 71 yards and the game-winning touchdown while also catching five catches for 30 yards. In Week 11, Jacobs carried 23 times for 112 yards in a 17-10 victory over the Cincinnati Bengals. Jacobs carried 17 times for 104 yards against the Chiefs in Week 13, a 40-9 loss. Despite missing three of the Raiders' last four games due to a shoulder ailment and a skin infection, he became the first running back in Raider history to rush for 1,000 yards in a rookie season. Jacobs ended the 2019 season with 1,150 rushing yards and seven rushing touchdowns. He was awarded to both the NFL All-Rookie Team and the PFWA Offensive Rookie of the Year. His teammates ranked him 72nd among the NFL's top 100 players in 2020. Jacobs returned from injury in Week 1 against the Carolina Panthers. Jacobs carried 25 times for 93 yards and three rushing touchdowns in the Las Vegas Raiders' 34-30 win. Jacobs also made several key passing plays, totaling 46 yards on four grabs. The next week's Monday night football game against the New Orleans Saints, Jacobs had 105 all-purpose yards, 88 rushing and 17 receiving, and a 34-24 victory. In the 40-32 victory over the Chiefs in Week 5, Jacobs carried for 77 yards and two touchdowns. And in the 16-6 victory over the Cleveland Browns in Week 8, Jacobs ran for a career-high 128 yards on 31 carries. With a 65 yards and rushing score on 14 attempts in the team's 31-26 victory over the Chargers in Week 9, Jacobs became the new franchise leader in rushing yards over his first two seasons. Jacobs ran 20 times for 112 yards and two running touchdowns in the team's 37-12 victory against the Broncos in Week 10. During the 30-27 overtime loss in Week 15 against the Los Angeles Chargers on Thursday Night Football, Jacobs amassed 114 yards from scrimmage and a running touchdown. Jacobs concluded the 2020 season with 33 receptions for 238 receiving yards, 273 carries for 1,065 rushing yards, and 12 rushing touchdowns. He received a Pro Bowl selection. He was selected to the Pro Bowl. He was ranked 68th by his teammates on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2021. Jacobs has two running touchdowns in the Week 1 overtime triumph over the Baltimore Ravens. Jacobs had 27 carries for 129 rushing yards in Week 16's 17-13 win over the Broncos. In Week 18, he had 26 carries for 132 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown in a 35-32 overtime win over the Chargers. He concluded the 2021 season with 217 carries for 872 yards and 9 rushing touchdowns, as well as 54 receptions for 348 yards. Jacobs gained 127 scrimmage yards in the wildcard round against the Bengals, a 26-19 loss. The Raiders declared on April 29, 2022, they will not pick up Jacobs' contract fifth-year option, rendering him a free agent come the offseason of 2023. With 144 yards and two touchdowns from the running game and 23-32 victory over the Broncos in Week 4, Jacobs set a career high in yardage. The next week, in a 30-29 loss to the Chiefs, Jacobs ran for a career high 154 yards on 21 carries. He recorded 20 carries for 143 yards and three rushing touchdowns in the following game. A 38-20 victory over the Houston Texans and the team's 22-16 victory over the Broncos in Week 11. Jacobs amassed 160 scrimmage yards. Jacobs had 74 receiving yards and 229 yards of rushes against the Seattle Seahawks the following week. After leading the 40-34 triumph with two touchdowns and a total of 303 scrimmage yards, he sealed the victory in overtime with an 86-yard walk-off score. AFC Offensive Player of the Week went to Jacobs in recognition of his play. Jacobs had 26 carries 
for 144 yards and a rushing touchdown in the next game, which the Jaguars won 27 to 20. With 1,653 running yards, 12 rushing touchdowns, and 340 attempts, Jacobs led the NFL in rushing yards. Additionally, he totaled 400 receiving yards with 53 receptions. After Marcus Allen in 1985, he became the first player in the history of the team to exceed 2,000 scrimmage yards. Josh Jacobs received the NFL inaugural Jim Brown Award at the NFL Honors on February 9, 2023. He was then selected to the first team All-Pro and Pro Bowl. On the list of the NFL Top 100 Players of 2023, he was voted 12th by his teammates. The Raiders gave Jacobs the franchise tag on March 6, 2023. Jacobs and the Raiders reached an agreement on August 26, 2023 for a one-year contract worth up to $12 million. In a loss to the Los Angeles Chargers in Week 4, Jacobs ran for 58 yards and one touchdown, in addition to catching eight catches for a career-high 81 receiving yards. In Week 9, the New York Giants were defeated 30-6 thanks to Jacobs' 98 yards and two scores on the ground. Jacobs was fined $21,855 five days after the game for lowering his helmet to make contact. Jacobs had a quad injury, keeping him out of the final four games of the 2023 season. He finished the season with 233 carries for 805 rushing yards and six rushing touchdowns, along with 37 grabs for 296 receiving yards. Josh Jacobs is currently under a one-year $11,791,000 contract with the Las Vegas Raiders. The deal includes a $2.5 million signing bonus and $10,091,000 in guarantees. Josh Jacobs was involved in a contract dispute with the organization during the 2023 NFL offseason for wage parity after the Raiders tagged him. The RB refused to concede. Both parties then agreed on a one-year contract before the 2023 season began. Josh Jacobs exemplifies the concept of working hard to achieve success. Which of the following aspects of Josh Jacobs' journey, from showering after practice in high school and sleeping in the car, to the Alabama Crimson Tide being drafted first in the NFL and leading the league in rushing yards, captured your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section and stay tuned for more exciting NFL updates. Don't forget to like and share this video. Bye for now and see you in the next video.